Hello there, Pisces, and thank you for joining me for this reading between today, the new moon, uh, March 13th through March 28th, the full moon. I'm going to do a whole other reading for, for the full moon, of course, but this will take us through that, through this time period between new moon and full moon on the 28th of March. And we've got an interesting read coming up for you here. We've got... Um, uh, three oracle decks and a uh, the angel tarot, but only the major arcana portion will I be working with. Where we've also got the moonology oracle and two new oracles for my that I just got. We have sacred geometry oracle and then the archetype oracle by Kim Kranz. Again, we're only going to use a portion of this oracle just the selves. It is uh, broken up into selves, uh, the places, tools, and initiations for the archetypes. However, for this reading, we're just going to get into the selves. So what aspect of the self do we need to pay attention to for this time period? And then um, uh, with our sacred geometry that could bring up, there's a, an array of different things that comes up and through with the sacred geometry. It could be um, a frequency to listen to. It could be a special uh, message like gratitude. It could be a, um, a shape that comes through with an actual message for us. It's a really, really cool oracle. It's a beautiful oracle. Isn't that pretty with that, that foil on the edges? Um, but first, we're going to get into it with Moonology. So welcome again, beautiful, uh, no, not Aquarius, <laughs> Pisces. I just did Aquarius. That was a really cool read. Um, and if you don't know me, my name is Infinity. I am a medical medium, psychic, physical empath, and natural born energy healer. I work w worldwide with people and animals. So check out my website if you're interested in private reads. Um, healing or energy healing or physical healing for yourself, your um, children or animals. I work with everybody. And um, I also offer ascension coaching um, and moderate to deep energy work at, very, at various price ranges. So I suggest you take a look at my website to learn more about me and see if there's something that I can do for you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it here. Pisces. Pisces is my moon sign, by the way. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Here we go. Took a, took a minute. Let's see what we've got here, Pisces, for our, our Moonology card says, believe in the impossible, which I love, and I definitely do, and I hope you do too, believe in the impossible. I love this message. So this is about definitely opening up to possibilities, opening up your... Um, your awareness, knocking down walls, not setting limitations up for yourself or anything else as far as what is possible in your life and how beautiful things and magical things can be, especially when you have faith and trust in the divine and your guidance and, and that you're protected and loved and that everything will work out as, as, as it's meant to and everything is a process. Um, also feeling that you may, Pisces, be tapping in more with your, um, uh, with your guides and guardians, with your angelics, with your, uh, actual guardian angel. So if that's something that is really important to you, if you've been thinking about it, if you've been thinking about your your spiritual connections and who's around you, if you've been feeling more of that energy, you've been feeling more guided, then I really suggest for you to lean all the way into that. And I do have a guided meditation that I put out a couple weeks ago. It's called Body Love 
and meet your guardian angel and it's such a beautiful I channel all of my meditations so they're not from me but I channel out the 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 messages um, from our divine counterparts mostly our mother earth Gaia but archangels angels I work with the Fae with galactics um, and but mostly with our mother earth Gaia she's with me in pretty much everything that I do guiding um, she's so very uh, involved in our lives and knows what's going on and anyway just coming through here is just magic spiritual connections synchronicities, angel numbers, just a lot of message type stuff, Pisces. Um, also, the more that you're in or around water um, and have water around you, I have a lot of water around me as much as I can. I live in the mountains. I have a lake nearby. I need to go and visit real soon. <laughs> I miss it. But um, I've got these um, big um, vases and containers of water and instead of just having normal water bowls for my cats I have I, they get water in these so this is my cats of um, water up here and um, so it's nice and tall so it's easy for them to drink out of number one and number two it's just beautiful it's nice to have this is full of water I have this on my desk right here I'm not gonna move the camera but what this crystal is on is a vase filled with water and I just have this throughout my house and it's just good to be around water so I'm hearing that with this um, okay that's about it um, I guess the main takeaway from that card would be tapping in with your guides and guardians and believing that they're really there understanding that they're really there um, and doing your part I'm hearing during doing your part to to reach out and connect with them to say I'm ready I want to hear from you I want to connect with you I want to know you more I want to have a relationship with you um, it can just be the whole group of your spirit tribe at first it doesn't have to be anything specific or anyone specific and you can just open up to everybody and and do it that way but i do suggest that meditation body love it came out on valentine's day body love and connecting with your uh, or meeting your guardian angel next card here flower of life cocoon stage card number 13 from our sacred geometry so let's get right into that 13 our creation cards so flower of life here we go cocoon stage I have what it takes to birth my ideas and concepts and make them my reality. This card is letting you know that you are in the stages of gestation. You have been working hard towards something, whether it be on matters of finance, business, family, or personal. It's not long now until your ideas and concepts will birth into this world. You are working busily behind the scenes and the knowledge and work that will be born are still in secrecy. This card can also be symbolic of pregnancy. Sacred geometry. Within the third rotation of the flower of life is formed. The most common form of the flower is the hexagonal pattern that consists of 19 full circles, each containing a flower and 36 partial circular arcs. When we look at the design of water molecules and snowflakes, the same hexagon pattern is present. Approximately 60 to 70 percent of our body and our world is water. The flower of life is surrounded by two circles on the outer, which mimic the Hana Pelikita. I'm not sure. I have this probably wrong. The membrane that forms around the ovum as it develops in the, in the ovary down to the fallopian tube, zona pellucida, I'm, I'm probably destroying that. Once fertilized, the membrane disappears. Interesting. The flower of life is considered to be the most sacred 
and the universal blueprint. It is said that the outer spheres kept the knowledge within its perf within its perfect form, proportion, and harmony are the most sacred. It contains within it the tree of life as taught in the Kabbalah as well as ancient runes. It is said to contain a vast Akashic system of information including templates for the five platonic solids. It is also said that if you remove these two circles you will ultimately know the secrets of the universe. <laughs> it's making my head tingle just like talking about it's really interesting this is the way in which the ancients encoded their knowledge let's take a look again sacred geometry is so magical so talk about believing in the impossible um your flower of life and practical application when the time is right you will shed the outer layers and give birth to a much awaited opportunity where all will be revealed don't give up now even if you are feeling strained and struggling to see the bigger picture you have worked so hard on this project and in a short time you will see the delivery of the fruits of your labor you should be very proud of yourself and your accomplishments and the card numerology is six and crystal suggestions is merlinite uh, numinite, num, numite, lavaterite, moss agate, and uh, unikite. Okay, this is lavaterite right here, one of my favorite crystals ever. Let's see if we can see the flash. Oh my god, take that in for a second. Oh my goodness gracious, there's some lavaterite for you to <laughs> inspire you. So it talked about water, our bodies being of water. I brought up water before, obviously a theme here going on. So water, drink water, best water you can get your hands on, please. Um, I've been really into um, alkaline water. I love alkaline water. It tastes so good. Where's my water? Shoot, it's not here. All right, gonna have to wait. Um, sounds really good. Okay, let's get into the archetype cards for the self and see what we've got here. But um, aside from that, with the flower of life, it's a, talking about um, being patient is coming up. Being patient, um, knowing that we're in the stage of rebirth. We're in a stage of... of things coming up to the surface of like coming down the birth canal and being born. We're just not there yet with certain things, but it is coming. We wouldn't have been put on certain paths to do certain types of work if it wasn't, you know, for some, for, you know, something and, and all that good stuff. Um, and to really connect with this, with the, the flower of life really spend some time looking at that reading about it and if you can even draw it to really connect with that energy that um it's it's just it's a very impregnated or pregnant type energy where it's it's about um the right recipe of energy coming together to to create something new and that could be you that could be creating a new energy within also within you so this could be a very personal thing like i've really been working on my my spirituality that sort of thing it could be an artistic project project it could be that you've gotten to a certain point with something and you're waiting for collaboration the right people to collaborate with and maybe there's been some false starts with people um Okay, feeling this coming here, there. I'm like, it's coming soon. What do we got here? The mentor. Oh, look at that. Card number six. The mentor. Oh, and it's a big old owl. I love it. Let's take a look here. Card number six. Um... The mentor. One more time. 
The mentor. Okay. The teacher, the sage, the guru. It is said that cosmic knowledge pours down on the world like a great illuminated waterfall. Again, water Pisces. <laughs> This can be an overwhelming force. The true teacher, though, is said to be able to hold this flow of wisdom at bay while the student sips from, the focused, from a focused stream. The mentor archetype has a gift for reading the room, for sensing the exact ingredient that will stimulate growth within the student, whether pleasant or painful. Sorry, stimulate. That's the word. Why am I having such a hard time with stuff? It will stimulate growth within the student, whether pleasant or painful. The mentor may appear aloof or available, harsh or tender, humorous or rigid. Their gift is to know what serves the soul. Ultimately, the mentor is in service of the greater cosmic good and aids in the elevation of consciousness. Anytime the mentor forgets this humble link and mistakes themselves for the source of enlightenment, the archetype falls into shadow. When light, focus, clear, bright uh, remains a student, when dark, self-serving, um, envious of youth, righteous and rigid, and as Oh, and go deeper, the riddle of Zen masters and their students. And then keep in mind how easy it is to project power onto another. The expression feet of the, the expressions feet of clay and cult of personality exist for a reason. And although it's typically true that parents are our initial teachers, the child will eventually seek a mentor figure outside of the home to assist their growth. Okay. I'm feeling with this, this is about, yeah, knowing your, your power, knowing your, um, your connections, knowing your, uh, again, believe in the impossible, the flower of life, the mentor here, um, with this that it's like either you're gonna see your your um the mentor and you really coming out more or you're going to also come in contact with a mentor or somebody that's very much like um with this flower of life card getting my attention again um, I'm feeling a very like coming full circle kind of thing. We have this blue moon with believe in the impossible. Um, we are on the new moon. We have the men this mentor card is just it, to me it's very like soul matey coming in mentor kind of thing. Again, this could be you for for other people or or somebody else at this time where it's very meaningful for both, like it's exactly what you're, like the type of person that that you like to, you like to mentor, that you like to teach, or or that you finally fi find a good person to learn from, or another good person to learn from, if they're, ha if, you know, if you, if you already have that. Um, okay, let's see what our Archangel Oracle says to round this out, Pisces. Um, let's see here. Our zero card, our fool card. So definitely something starting here. The dreamer is our fool card with Archangel Metatron. So this flower of life um, you know, with sacred geometry and Metatron, obviously, you know, we're 
we're doing sacred uh, sacred geometry oracle here but they're not all like that and aside from that it's just this the fool card in um in angel tarot is called the dreamer so it's like your first stage of dreaming kind of you're you're on your your path leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities so again i feel like there this is speaking to an arrival like somebody literally flying in here um or you being the one flying in you being either this the fool um starting starting on a new like yeah, starting on a new path or being somebody to be, be there for somebody's new beginning. And that really being beginning, beginning. It's like beginning, beginning, beginning. Um, and this believe in the impossible is coming out like going, yeah, you're going to be like, whoa, is this really happening? <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah, so I love the full card and basically any reading that it comes out because it's just so ready. It says leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. Again, believe in the impossible. We have the flower of life. And this is just saying basically creation is, is happening and it's in that it's coming, it's starting. And that's what the full card is all about. It's all about we're beginning, we're starting, we're taking that first step. And it's also a leap of faith. We don't always know when we start creating something, what is going to be the end result, right? So it's also a leap of faith in that too. Um, you know, the, the flower of life is very precise and exact. And, and like it said there, you know, there's very special knowledge to unlock there when we're talking about creational energy and, and it feels always very magical, very magical. So, wow, that's very exciting. So just patience for the process, believe, connect with your, um, with your guides, kind of reach out there again. Um, water being a, a theme here and just expect for, you know, new beginnings, new beginnings, some, something flying in something really, this energy is very precise, very targeted. I'm coming, um, or, or it's coming. It's like either you're going or it's coming at you one way or another. I see it both ways and it could be both. It could just be like this boom kind of thing. Um, and, or at least this beginning in the etheric and it with energy right now. So to really stay focused on you, your energy, what you're doing and whatever's meant to come in, um, will at the exact right time. Okay. Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me until next time. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye for now.